Hey everybody, welcome to Life at Sunny Lee with Kathy Jarvis. And it's been another busy week and as you can tell, I'm in the car because we're running more errands. Um, we did have a few unfortunate circumstances that happened this week. Uh, our old vet, he's retired. he was retired, but a very good, very, very knowledgeable man, very kind, very wonderful man. He died this past Friday, and so we had the visitation funeral for that. I lost a goldfish on Thursday, and I lost a, one of my chickens on Thursday. The lady had not been filling up to par the last two nights, I noticed, but I thought it was just maybe the cold weather and the shock and stuff, the weather changing. But I found her Thursday morning dead in the coop so I buried her and the goldfish and um, I spent a lot of the week cleaning our week has gone from really pretty to a 60 degree weather to possibly snow for uh, Friday nights yeah, I did spend a lot of the time cleaning uh, remember I'm deep cleaning the house trying to get it done quicker than I did last year and um, so I did the dining room on one rainy day another day we had a nice pretty day so I put the puppy outside on the leash and I cleaned the front room and I deep cleaned it I took the uh, shampooer and shampooed the rug and vacuumed it and did all the baseboards and did the fireplace did everything all right, back home. Another thing that I did this week was I um, had to take the bird and get something off of his beak. It had a seed hog uh, attached to his beak, and I think I almost killed the bird. Just for a note, never ever shine a flashlight into a bird's eyes. I meant that light hit that poor little bird when I was trying to see if it was a seed or what was on hooked on its beak. He just, he just went limp. I thought I'd killed him. Um, it took him a good half hour to come out of it to respond. He doesn't like to be held, and he held onto my fingers for all he was worth until he was able to set up right and move. But I did get the, uh, it was a seed, uh, part of a seed. Like, you know, when you get popcorn caught in your mouth, well, he got a seed uh, shell caught on his beak and couldn't get it off. So I got that off and got him back, and he's doing okay. I uh, got this snake. He was out from underneath this rock. It was pretty day, a couple pretty days, 60 degrees. He came out, and he was ready for food. Uh, another thing I did was I put my drone that I got for Christmas, I put it together. Realized I needed batteries for it, so I bought the batteries, but then it's been raining and bad weather ever since. And I'm going to have to buy new batteries again because I went out to check the trail camera and it had broken. The cover over the lens was missing and water had gotten into the camera. So we went and bought two, actually we bought two new cameras. This is the one, it's a double, two of them. So I have two cameras now, but they both take batteries. So the batteries I bought for the drone went into the cameras. So I'll have to buy batteries for the drone again, but that's okay. Until it gets pretty weather, I won't be able to try to fly in the thing anyway. Okay, we also had uh, dinner with our oldest son. We went and met him halfway between his house and our house. And we had dinner with him on Sunday, which was always nice. We've had a lot of problems with the apartment. Where they're calling us and saying they have no electricity here or they have no electricity there. And a lot of times it was just the breaker box that had tripped. And we couldn't figure out why it's been tripping so much. And then the other day, we got a text early in the morning saying that they were out of electricity again. So we went. And 
This time we end up calling the electric company. They came and there was a wire loose on their transmitter that was causing all of the problems. So it was nice to know it wasn't our building. It was the uh, energy company's itself's problem. So hopefully that is taken care of and we won't have to worry about that anymore. And um, it's getting time to start the seeds. I did get a bunch of things through Amazon this past week. I found the replacement cover for the small greenhouse and got it in the garage waiting until it gets pretty. Well, of course we got the gr new greenhouse waiting to until the weather breaks so we can take it out and put it up. The garage is getting quite full with everything in it and the cats and everything. <laughs> I did manage to um, go over and um, fix the dining room. I fixed um, an area where I just have all the stuff for the greenhouse that I've gotten. So I've got that in place. And I end up making a charging station. Seems like everything you get nowadays doesn't plug into a regular electrical thing. It has to have a little adapter so it charges. So I set up a charging station so that everything is in one spot instead of having something charge in one room and something else in another room and running all over the house trying to find chargers. So I did buy a little charger. It has uh, five things in it five ports to charge with. So I get that. Done. So that is what we've been up to this week. So I hope you've had a good week. Uh, remember, dream big, follow that dream, and I'll see you in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, and please hit that like button. That way it helps get the, um, you, the uh, video out to more people. So see you later. Bye, everybody. Thank you for being here.